Today's video was going to be a hike through the woods, through the wilderness, the forest, whatever, whatever, whatever. But today we have wind gusts up to 40 and 45 and even 50 miles an hour. Guys, I learned my lesson last year. You don't go hiking in the woods when you got a high wind. Let me tell you where I'm at. I'm at the Oxbow. Remember, we wasn't able to do it that much, I think, last week because of the cold. That might have been two weeks ago. I don't remember. But let me tell you what you see before you get here at the Oxbow. You see a waste garbage truck plant, I guess. You also see a junkyard. <laughs> You travel on roads that has a pothole every inch, it seems like. Then it opens up, and you see something like this. Now, before we uh, get into what today's video is going to be, and I don't know what it's going to be exactly. Uh, uh, the last video is supposed to be a whole bunch longer than what it was. I actually, uh, uh, I did end it where it's more, you know, <laughs> where it ended at, but I was going to add a continuance to it the next day when I was walking and explaining the anxiety thing, only to get home and find out <laughs> my voice sounded like I was in a cellar. Yes, sometimes my microphone mod does that and you don't know when it's doing it. It may be doing it now and this video may be for poop as well. Or crap. All right. Enough complaining. Let's see if we can find some beauty. And just see what we can find. We're not going to walk a whole bunch that far. Because my back is still hurting. But it is about maybe, I say still 50% better. Okay, that's about all the nature shots I'm going to get right now. We decided we ain't going to walk as, all that far. That wind is nasty and it's cold. <laughs> Last time we came down here, the wind was nasty and cold, but wasn't blowing as bad as it was now. Oh, heck no. i tell you what stinks is I get to do my hiking on the weekends. So the weekends weather has to be exactly perfect for this. I mean, through the week, we have good enough weather, but I only be able to do my hikes on the weekend. So when the weekend comes, we're like, okay, the temperatures may be okay, but dang, that wind's going to kick the butt, and yeah. Plus, we have rain all night. That ain't going to matter. Just means we'll walk through maybe a little bit of mud. All we wanted to do was go to the creek and look for some creek rocks. Well, there is always tomorrow. Okay, we're going to walk down to the other end and see what we can see and then we'll probably call it. Tomorrow is a whole other day. Don't know what we can do, if anything at all, but we will come up with something. Tomorrow may be a day we go out and look for some Christmas decorations of the daytime probably. Then when it gets closer to Christmas, we look then for the nighttime. That is so beautiful over there. We swing around. That is so beautiful at that point right there. Holy is it ever. I have had thoughts to walk down over the hillside since the water is down and walking all the way to the water, but my back ain't up to snuff and I don't know if that'd be a good idea. If you really look at it, that whole shoreline right there is perfect for fishing down there. Huh. See, I wasn't able to notice that the last couple times we came here to fish. Now, normally the water's way more up than what it is now, but we've had some, even though it has rained the last couple of days, the water is still way, way down. And it's interesting because what we're seeing now, we have never seen this, at least Angie and I haven't, because we only started walking down here, what? Uh, last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's really interesting to see what we see. <laughs> Now, should we go on this point and go walk further or just, I say we uh, do that another time. 
back. We got sick, yeah. Well, my I, I think my back can handle it. Yeah, walking in hiking boots is a whole new different chore than walking in my regular walking shoes. Now, that looks like water right up there, nothing but pure water over the road. Or it could be the sun making it look that way. Okay, we might. With Angie's help, was able to see behind me they have a wire blocking this road because no vehicles is allowed beyond that point. So with Angie's help, grabbing Stormy, going underneath the wire. Then when I tried to go over the wire, lifting my leg up, I had a pinch in my back, and I dang near fell on my face. Holy! Figured we walk back here till it gets to the field mm -hmm. and see what we can see, some beauty. And go from there. Supposed to be some excellent fishing right here, y'all. Excellent. We've only tried it one time. Didn't have much luck. But it's supposed to be some serious good fishing here. We're going to have to possibly try it this summer. Now, the last time we came down this far, which was last year, it was a tree blocking the road. So we're going to see if it's still there. Don't know. I don't see it from here. So it may not be there. But holy, so many perfect spots to fish at at this point. I mean, the water is seriously down. <laughs> and when the water's down, it leaves so much, so much places to fish. Of course, that's all I have in my brain anymore is fishing. What's the matter with me? Not a damn thing. You know what? Let's get some more nature beauty. This is too beautiful not to share. So we'll get some nature beauty while we're back in the back here, and then we'll do some more talking on the way out. Okay, that wind has gotten ridiculous, so. Hey, leave it. Chill, that's my dog You're being allowed. nuts. So we're headed back to the car. Wow. But this place is not a bad place. Like I said, when we got here, you're gonna go through uh, a junkyard. You're gonna go through waste management. A management plant. And the roads are not forgiving. Oh, but once you come down here, you can experience this whole wetlands right through here. Totally amazing, guys. All right, we got some peoples up here. I think they're bird watching. Yeah. So once we get on by them, we'll close her out at the car. All right, guys, I promise the adventures will be coming back. Just got to let my back heal up a little bit more. I have a halfway decent day with no wind. It could be cold. I mean, hell. <laughs> We still hike in the cold, but gotta give it what we gotta give it, you know? But it was not a bad trip today. We was down here about maybe an hour. And it's quite beautiful. Makes you want to come here more and more come summertime and fish. I said that last year. Maybe this year I have to. Maybe this might be one of the places I fish at the most. Well, this is Marcelle State Park, obviously. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Leave your comments. And if you have a beautiful wetlands near you, like we do here called the Oxbow, let me know down in the comments. All right, we'll see you in a couple days. Come on, let's get out of here.